Maybe it's just that Americans aren't as knowledgeable as they should be, or maybe there's a uh, a, a Death Star pumping false information into our Fox, brains. Fox, right? Or yeah. <laughs> Inflation is the, is, is, the, is the bane of our existence. Inflation is mostly in food and in at gasoline at, yeah. at the pump. That's what kills you, because it's well, a little billboard you, telling everyone you every, how expensive but, everything but, is. If Donald Trump leaves one of those Sharpies over for you, you could maybe change the price on that, uh, you know. Bob, we, we could. My mother used to say, out of everything bad, something good will come if you look hard enough for it. So the, re, the reduction on the use of oil also increases the need to find alternatives. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm, that's why I'm going over to the quote, G7, the seven largest economies in the world, and meeting in, uh, in Germany in a couple weeks. things we've done but what we haven't done is we haven't been able to communicate it in a way that is uh, um, make me say another way well see that's kind of perfect yeah well, we haven't been able to communicate but it look how way. the press has changed mm -hmm. look how the press has changed it has changed oh listen it's, I, I get it I know you get you overstand it yeah. you don't just understand it you overstand it <laughs> but here's the deal one of the things is that it's very difficult now to have a um, even with, with notable exceptions, even the really good reporters, they have to get the number of clicks on, on, the, on the nightly news. Mm -hmm. So instead of asking a question, anyway, it just, everything gets, gets sensationalized in ways that, but I'm convinced we can get through this. We have to get through it. How many of you think the tax code is fair anywhere along the line here? How many, no, I'm not being facetious now. I'm being deadly earnest. They don't pay a penny. I don't. So if we had a minimum tax of 15 percent, just on this year, I mean, minimum 15, it doesn't hurt them at all. They make a lot of money still, and we can raise a lot of money to make sure that child care doesn't cost you 1,400 bucks a month. To make sure. But this all makes perfect sense, and the fact that this makes sense is why it doesn't make sense and why it seems so crazy and that we have so many problems and that maybe it's just that Americans aren't as knowledgeable as they should be. Or maybe there's a, uh, a, a Death Star pumping false information into our Fox, brains. Fox, right? Or, yeah. <laughs> September of 2019, and one of the things we talked about at length was gun violence, and you said that we need to do something about this gun violence, particularly when it comes to our schools. And here we are, a couple years later, we're halfway through this year already, there have been, what, 27 shootings at schools? I guess, I mean, just to get into it, why haven't we done anything about this? Well, I think uh, a lot of it's intimidation uh, by the NRA, and uh, look, this is not your father's Republican Party. This is a, a MAGA party. It's a very different, a, a very different Republican Party. And, uh, and so you find people who uh, are worried, I believe, that if they vote for rational gun policy, they're going to be primaried. And they're going to they're lose in a hard right Republican primary. Is that your take when you speak to these guys mm -hmm. and women behind the scenes that they are, is there any honesty? Do they acknowledge that they would like to do something? Well, I think many of them do. Uh, you know, I get in trouble for saying this, but uh, I get on, uh, we have very different views on a lot of things, but I, uh, I've always had a straight relationship with, uh, with the majority, with the Republican leader, Mitch McConnell. You know, he's a guy that when he says something, he means it. I disagree with a lot of what he says, but he means it. There are a number of... Like when he said we can't confirm a Supreme Court justice with a year left? That's right. And then said well, the opposite? Well, 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 no, what he did, I mean, look, he's a, he's a leader of, of a party that's moved very hard right. And so in order to get anything done, he, uh, he has a different problem than he did early on before Trump became president. It seems like maybe the party has moved hard right, but I don't know that the people have moved they hard right. They because haven't. people 
overwhelmingly believe we should have serious background That's why checks. The they thing. overwhelmingly. <laughs>Democrats are frustrated because, you know, we got out and voted. Um, we won the House, the Senate, um, the White House, obviously, and still we have had made very little progress as far as I'm concerned when it comes to guns, obviously, uh, reproductive rights, voting rights, climate change, the, all these things. And in some ways we've we've moved backwards. Well, we've got 81 million votes, um, more than anybody's ever gotten. Because, and thank you for those who you helped me with. But, but what's happened, Jimmy, is, you know, we still only ended up with 50 senators, which means that we have 50 presidents. And two of them are kind of um, on uh, iffy, I think, uh, at well, best. Here, here, here's the thing. It's interesting. You know, one, one of the things that's causing problems is that people think it's the Democratic Party that's so divided. And the problem, the problem is we have 48 out of 50 senators vote with me 95% of the time, more than any president has gotten that kind of support from their, from their constituency. But we only have 50. And you can't get even two, three, four Republicans to vote. Look what's happening now with regard to everything from the way they talk about this potential decision from the Supreme Court. I mean, it's going to be, it's awful. What do we do about well, that? I well, mean, what do we do? And what well, do you say to Joe Manchin, Kristen Sinema, what do you say to them when well, you get them on the telephone? Well, what I say to them is, and by the way, they agree on a lot of these proposals relating to everything from, from choice all the way to... I would hope so. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I know, but it's not like they are there 80% of the time. The pace that they're not there is Joe's not there on a lot of the things having to do with the climate and the environment because he comes from cold country and, and he has a different view. Um, and uh, Kristen is not always there in terms of the tax policies. Process question. When you have sensitive documents that you need to flush down the toilet, do you do that? Is, he, is that done in your office toilet or is that done in the bathroom, in the personal bathroom area? I call Trump. <laughs> uh, and, uh... <laughs>